here to start the stream today. And I um, just want to, I'm going to just tell, I'm gonna just going to get ready to it. Uh, don't bother noticing my fidget finger. It is broken. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell some jokes. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. How many teenagers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Uh, yeah, you in the back. Okay, get out. Oh, get out. Wait, the stream's what? starting. Get out. Wait, get out. That is a freaking joke, man. Okay. No. It doesn't, it only takes one because, because they have the internet now and they're good at okay. stuff. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much thanks, for Thanks, everybody. Thank thanks you. for, thanks for having me. Thanks, Carl. Bye, everybody. Thanks for starting the stream. Bye. Really appreciate it. Hello, everybody. Happy day. I'm good. <laughs> And welcome back to Emily is a way to welcome back to high school where the sex you want you ain't getting and the sex you getting you don't want. We are playing Emily is a way chapter two. I'm so excited. This is actually one of my favorite games to play. And uh, let's get right into chapter two. Autumn 2006. Way, way, way back in the day. This was 11 years ago now. Old times. If there was no love in, if there is no love in the world, we will make a new world. We will give it walls and a knocker that resonates so softly that we will never hear it. Okay, that's pretty deep. Pretty deep. We are in senior year. I was trying to get with Emily last year, but she just didn't seem really interested. She is currently dating a guy named Jeff. And now we're at a point where hopefully we're getting a little closer hopefully i'm not so friend zoned anymore we still got some good old ug ads right now because uggs were very popular at the time and i'm going to pick my thing ray wim shows i don't know about that but i was still pretty hardcore i think black parade Ooh. maybe we'll do oh video games though let's let's do this thing that thing looks pretty hardcore all right, are we Snow Patrol, Senses Fail, or Lupe, Lupe Fiasco? We're still going to be Senses Fail because, you know, we're super hardcore. As we grow, emotion starts to die. We need to find a way to keep our desire alive. Yeah, we're still emo, still quoting Senses Fail. Do we like Borat, The Departed, or Final Destination 3? We're going to say Borat because even though it offended us personally, we liked it. I arrived with clothing, US dollars, and a jar of gypsy tears to protect me from AIDS. Wow, that's not offensive at all. Destroy what destroys you, or the best is yet to come. Well, we're still, like I said, we're still super emo, so destroy what destroys you. Ah! This is our personal profile. Punk Forever last time was very, very into me, obviously, and I noticed a lot of you guys in the comments were like, this is just one of those situations where you like the pretty boring girl because, like, the cool girl who's into you isn't good enough, but that's not the truth, I think. I feel like Punk Forever was a little bit, she came on a bit strong, whereas Emily was a little bit more mysterious. She was a little bit more, I don't know, she values genuine friendships a lot more, whereas Punk Forever was like, I'm totally gonna send you some drunk texts and stuff. And I don't know. I'm just gonna say, hey yo, I, I want to see, I want to see how that drunk texting night went. And I'm still a tray you nits because I still have lice in my hair. There she is, Cassie. How is you? Ugh, bored as usual. And while I get this started and ask how Punk Forever is, I'm also gonna say hi to. Oh, she said hi to me first. Oh, oh, oh. hey Cassie, what's up? Uh, listening to music, as I always did in high school. Yes, we are. She's typing, okay, she's typing to me a lot. Like, maybe, maybe she likes me a little bit more now. I can only hope. All right. Not too much. Just got home from Kelly's a little while ago. Oh, Kelly's. I prefer that much. I much prefer that over Jeff's house. Um, what did you two do? How is she? Or why wasn't I invited? Okay, I'm not going to say that. I'm just gonna say, what, yeah, what'd you guys do? You guys didn't have boys over, did you? I'd be really pissed if you guys had boys over. What about you, punk forever? Ugh, same. Hey, do you know what today is? Uh, your birthday? I mean, I'm not too worried about what this girl thinks about me, so I guess we'll see. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually, what, actually what? Ugh, shit, my mom's calling me. Be back in a bit. How's that for some suspense? Well, you, you have to tell me. You have to tell- you can't leave me hanging like that. Okay, we're gonna go back to Emily, the love of my life. Yeah, it was fun. She showed me this new site, the Face Nook. Do you know it? 
Okay, so this is back when Facebook was very new. This is back when we were just getting into it. Did you guys ever, were you guys on Facebook back in the day, like when they had different plugins and apps you could put on there? I had this thing called an honesty box. And uh, with the honesty box, like people could admit things to you without you knowing what it was. And I got so many bitchy girls in my honesty box. Like, fuck you, bitch. And I was like, oh, excuse me, like calm down a little bit. Um, Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. I, oh, <laughs> Facebook initially only started out for college and you had to have like an email address of a college or university to actually have Facebook. And then they opened it up because everyone and their mom wanted to be on it. So I'm just gonna say, because it is 2006, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like MySpace, right? Right? Like you can still like listen to jams on there or whatever. Oh, Punk Forever's away. I just told her, you have to tell me what day it is. And she's like, oh yeah? And she leaves. She's teasing me. If I'm not back in an hour, avenge Okay, I'll keep teasing me, punk forever. I don't care. Facebook is kind of like MySpace, but with way less gifts. I'm setting up my profile now. There's just so many questions. All right, questions. Well, I mean, they don't matter too much, right? Like, as long as people know who you are, I'm sure it doesn't matter that much. Emily is typing. I'm really glad that punk forever is away so I can focus on the prize. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm on the last part. I have to write a status? What should I write? A status? Um, uh, Emily is talking to me! Emily is talking to Cassie, the coolest kid on EOL. Yeah. Better update the entire world that. Update the entire school so everybody at the school knows that we're talking to each other. <laughs> okay, I can work with that. There, it's finally done. Oh, can I see? Cool, can I see it? Can I see your Facebook page? Ooh, she's gonna show it to me. Okay, but don't make fun of it. I won't. Send it over. Facenook.com slash Emmer is 35. Okay, let's see what happens here. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna read this out to you guys. Emily, high school, United States, born in 1989, in a relationship, no! She's in a relationship, guys, I don't like that one bit. She plans to attend Relay for life because she's just such a good girl. She loves Snow Patrol still. Mm, Kelly mentioned her in a note. I'm bored. Oh, so they're doing a questionnaire. All right, that's that's fine. At least we can like creep all of her favorite music now without having to ask. She's still like Snow Patrol. Is that Arctic Monkeys? Or no, I didn't. I didn't see Arctic Monkeys, but I did say Arcade Fire. That's pretty sweet. Sigur Ross. That's pretty sweet. Death Cab for Cutie. I can forgive. Favorite movies, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, of course. She is into that love thing. She likes Fight Club, that 70s show. And uh, yeah, she, she just seems like a good girl. She just seems like a good old girl. Her favorite quote is, for whatever we lose, like a you or a me, it's always ourselves we find in the sea. Oh, how cute. Nice status, by the way. Nice status, Emily. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd like that. She did put the status saying she was talking to me. When you, you should send me a friend request when you get the chance. Yeah, sure, sure thing. Yeah, why not? So, what are you up to tonight? Are we ever gonna hang out, Emily? Like, ever? Please? Just going to stay in. Probably stay up late. Ah, uh, she's away. Why? If seeing is believing, then we believe that we, whoa, oh, 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 oh. oh. Don't worry, I'm still here. Okay, so she's just appearing offline right now. Oh, are you hiding from someone? Are you hiding from someone, Emily? But, okay, she's hiding from somebody, but not from me. Oh, J Radio. Okay, this is Emily's boyfriend. He just logged on. Oh, he's offline now. Okay. He just came online and offline, I think, just to check if Emily was online. <laughs> you caught me. I just don't want to talk to some people. Like who? Why? Or do I have to beat someone up? I'm gonna say that, because that's kind of romantic. Oh no, do I have to beat someone up, Emily? Let me know, hit me up. No, <laughs> Jeff's just kind of being an ass. Okay, Emily, can you stop dating guys that are asses? Why don't you date me? We should be together. Oh, okay, should I say what happened? I never liked him, or I'm sorry. I'm gonna say what happened, because we're friends and I can find out. I wanna say I never liked him, but like really, that's kind of catty and that's not the kind of person I'm trying to be right now. What happened there, Emily? Just some bullshit, I don't know. Okay. 
Maybe I'm being bitchy tonight or something. Oh, she's being the cute little girl, always blaming everything on herself and her hormones. It's okay, you know what? You're never bitchy. Actually, you're like the most chill person I've ever met. What did he say? I can send you the chat log. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Just don't show anyone, okay? <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, oh, I promise, I promise. I'm never gonna show anybody that chat log. Never, ever. Okay. Accept file. I'm accepting the file. Oh, oh, I get to see what's happening with her and her boyfriend. Oh, she's spreading the dirty laundry. I don't know if it's such a good thing that she's willing to share her private relationship info with me, but like, did you get it? Uh, where is it? I can't find it. I'm not very good with computers. It should be on your desktop, like the thing behind this application. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. How do I get to my desktop, boy? Um, hmm, window size, no. Hmm. Can you just link it, please? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, it says, how do you want to open this file? Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge. Oh, I guess Google Chrome. All right. Um, okay. So I'm about to read you guys the chat log between Emily and Jeff. Jeff is going to be down here. Emily is going to be over here. They're going to have their own respective voices. <laughs> hey, Emily. Hey, what's up? Not much, you? Nothing much. This is kind of boring. So, when are you coming over? I don't know if I can tonight. I have a lot of homework to do. You can just do it here. It's like project kind of stuff. I really don't think I can come. Oh, come on, Emily. We've had this plan all week. I know. I'm sorry. Are you really not going to come over? I had a whole night planned for us. Okay, so he's like mad at her right now. I don't think I can. Holy shit, are you serious? What the fuck, Emily? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I told you that it might not work out. I didn't think you were fucking serious. Well, I was. Holy shoot. Oh, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. I really can't believe you. I, I think I'm gonna go. Sure, whatever. Emily has signed off. That was insane. So it appears that Jeff planned this whole night out for them and it seemed kind of romantic, but Emily was like, I can't, like I have homework and stuff. And he got so irrationally mad at her for it and she's blaming herself and it's just so like, it's so sad. Okay, I got it. I read, I read that and that was, okay, I'm so on Emily's side. I'm so on Emily's side for this. So, do you think I was out of line? Definitely not! Are you crazy? You should be able to do whatever you want. Like, he doesn't control you. Yeah, I just don't want to go over tonight. Well, doi! Sometimes it's just hard being there. Wh Why is it hard? Why is it hard? What is this man doing to you, Emily? You could, you could come, you know, cuddle me instead. I just feel like I'm expected to act a certain way when I'm there, and I hate that. The problem's solved, though, because I can fake being away and talk to you. Uh, away messages are the best. We can always talk, or I'm always here for you. I am always here for you, but I don't want to friend zone myself so much. Um, I've got to say it anyway. I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love with a stripper. Well, not a stripper, but still. Thanks, Cassie. Hey, random question. Do you remember my favorite games? Of course I do, baby. You love RPGs. Role-playing games, right? Doi, Emily will remember that. Yeah, I'm glad I remembered. Whoa, you remembered. Of course I remembered. I love you. Love your butt too, especially in them white pants. I'm impressed. 
Hmm. How could I forget? I'm in love. Okay, I'm not gonna get friend zone this time, so I need her to know that I'm in love. How could I forget? Do you remember mine? Please remember mine. It's RPGs too. Of course I remember. Oh, you're good. You're pretty good, and you're pretty too. And you do your makeup real nice. I tried to do my makeup today like I did in high school, but... And I like kind of did, but like my technique has gotten so good that you like can't cake it on as shitty as you used to. <laughs> hey, thanks. Hey, let's listen to some cigarettes together. Yes, they're so good. They're so good. I can agree with you on that one. Not so into the alternative, but I'm into this. Aren't they? I really love this album. Okay, so we're sending, she's sending us another YouTube link. There is going to be... She sent us an hour-long Sigurás album, and if you guys don't really, because I don't want to get copyright, so I'm not really going to play too much of that. Um, if you guys don't really know Sigurás, like, the lead singer doesn't really say words. He uses his uh, vocals more as, like, an instrument, and I think that's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off so we don't get copyright. Yeah, this is great. This is great. I love it. I love you. Can we finally get together? Yay! Let's listen to the album together. Okay, we're gonna sit here for an hour listening to this together. I have no idea what the lyrics mean, but their music always make me feel so happy. Hopefully what I said about Sigurás was right. That's what, that's pretty much what I got out of it when I listened to them. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Let's go to Iceland. Oh, I should say that so that we can, you know, picture ourselves together somewhere, even though she has a boyfriend. I'm glad you're happy. Oh, that's cute too. Mmm. I'm gonna say let's go to Iceland. I just want her to know that I'm in love with her. Let's travel, baby. Let's travel. All right, how about tomorrow? Have you, wait, have you started applying to colleges? Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm prepared for this. I can't wait to get the hell out of high school, that's for sure. I started this summer. Oh, wow, you're on the ball. I haven't really started yet. Where were you looking to go, ideally? Anywhere. Anywhere that'll take me. I mean, I, beggars can't be choosers, right? Like, my grades are good, but they're not that good. I don't know. I'd really love to go to school in the city. And I've always thought it would be really cool to live in New York. Of course you think that, Emily, because you're just so cool. And your boyfriend loves Radiohead. And you just want to live in a city in a little loft and smoke cigarettes on your little bed. I'm sure that would be so cool. Oh, I should have said expensive, because yes, that would be very, very expensive. <laughs> right? She's typing. Mm, mm, mm. I think I really just want to get out of here and go someplace totally new, you know? Hopefully her sense of adventure doesn't take her away from my loving arms. I feel the same. Maybe we should, you know, start this whole life thing together. <laughs> Do you want to stay in New York after college? Yeah, I think that could go... That could be really grand. But, I don't know, planning that far out can be a little silly. Yeah, so much could change. I know what you mean. Or it's good to have a plan, though. But yeah, so much could change. We're young. Let's play it by ear, you know? Hopefully. And I really don't see myself settling down anytime soon. Oh, of course you don't. Of course you don't want to be my little wifey. Like, right now, I honestly don't even see myself having kids. <laughs> okay, Emily reminds me so much of myself. Let's just, let's go. Like, ever? Why do you say that? Or adoption? I'm gonna say, why do you say that? Because, like, I want to know her rationale behind not wanting to have kids. That's interesting to me. And I feel like a lot of people, when she tells them that, are like, Oh, you don't want to have kids? You'll change your mind. You'll blah, 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 blah. You should have a kid. And I'm just gonna try to be understanding. I just don't see myself wanting a family. I just want to be able to take life as it comes, I think. I totally get that. She just wants to, like, worry about herself and, like, not this huge responsibility because I feel like once you have a kid like you kind of have to care about that kid more than anything otherwise you're not doing it right but maybe I'm wrong I don't have kids so um I just want to take life as it comes be careful or wild and free I'm gonna say hmm I mean good philosophy she, all she said was I don't see myself wanting a family how is that a good philosophy I'm just gonna say wild and free question mark you just want to be a little wild chicken? You just want to be a little Emily gone wild or what? <laughs> Something like that. What are you typing? How about you after college? Do you want to settle down like right after? Hell no! 
I don't think so. Taking life as it comes sounds pretty good to me. I don't want to say like, I don't want to never say never. And yes, chat, I do have you as my kids already. That's, that's all the kids I need. <laughs> um, cool beans. I'm so glad you think the same way I do. And if you move to New York too, maybe we'll be roommates. Ooh. Ooh, wow. I like that. I like it. Oh, get blessed. Oh, baby. Yeah, let's get old together. I mean, um, let's be wild and free together. It would be. Thanks for letting me talk about it. Whenever I talk about New York with Jeff, he always gets so upset. Uh, he wants to settle down or he just wants you to stay in his little hometown and do what he wants to do. Well, guess what? I'm going to do the same thing, but I want to follow you around like a lost puppy. Yeah, I guess so. He doesn't want me to go far away, but I think he knows I'd go without him. Do you even like him? Like, why are you even with him? Should I say that? He seems like an ass. Hmm. He does seem like an ass though. Like, did you read that chat? I'm just, I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and say he seems like an ass, but then Emily is gonna think that I am talking, that I'm not a, um, uh, it's, it's tough with, like, good people like Emily is because, like, if you talk shit about someone to them, they can take that very, very negatively. So, you'd go without him. Obviously, she would. You, do you even like him? Uh, I'm just gonna say he seems like an ass because I can't handle it. He seems like an ass. He totally does. I don't like him. Sometimes, maybe. He's going through a really rough time. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm so sure his rough time justifies him treating you. Actually, it might. He just wants to be a more serious couple. Do you want that? I don't think you want that, Emily. Maybe you should break up and we should go to Mardi Gras and do horrible things to each other. Hello? Mm -hmm. Um, this is pretty personal, so you can't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> um, swear to God. Won't say a thing, swear to God. I will not, I will not do that. I will not do that. Please, tell me what it is. She's taking off. Me and Jeff haven't had sex. I think he wanted to try tonight or something. His parents aren't home. That's why he got so mad that Emily didn't come over. Like he was so mad and I was like, okay, like what kind of romantic like dinner was he planning for her? Or like, like what movie did he watch? Like what did he cook her? Like what? It's just because he wanted to have sex. To oh my god, I'm so pissed off right now. Chad, have you ever been there? Have you ever like been with, have you ever been dating this guy who's like, why haven't we had sex yet? And it's like, because I don't want to have sex with you, bitch. Actually, that's really personal too. <laughs> um, I think he wanted to try, okay, no. Is that why you didn't go over? Don't do it to make him happy. I want to say that. Do you want to though? That's kind of interesting. Is that why you didn't go over? Mmm... This is a tough one, okay. Well, let's talk about the rationale behind all of these. Do you want to? This is me asking specifically, I mean, these two are kind of the same question. Is that why you didn't want to go over? Because she doesn't want to. Or don't do it, because it might be obvious that she doesn't want to. So I'm just going to say, yeah, I'm going to say don't do it to make him happy. Do it for yourself, like if ever. Just like do it, don't ever... Don't ever let a guy in high school peer pressure you into doing things you don't want to do. Oh God, oh God, please don't. Don't do it. Or oh. A girl. Huh? Or a girl. Or a girl. Thanks, Terry. Oh, I would never. I'm just not ready for that with him. But it's okay. It's not like he's ever tried anything. It's just kind of annoying to keep turning him down. Okay, I think that you should be careful, girl. Or I'm sorry, that is annoying. Or wait until you're ready. I'm not going to say wait until you're ready because that assumes that she's going to wait until she's ready with him. Just be careful, okay? Just be careful. It's okay to not want to. And like, don't, don't let that peer pressure come in and don't do things you regret, okay? Unless they're you. Unless they're me. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes I feel weird, like I should have done it by now. So the last time I talked to Emily, she had never drank before and now she's like holding off on the whole sex thing and I respect her for both of those things, so... I'm, am I just going to say you're not weird again? Or screw that or do whatever you want. Do whatever you want is kind of the more like, you know, just do your thing, girl. You're not weird. It's not weird. You're not weird. I, I, 
I'm just gonna go with the you're not weird thing again. It's your life. Like, you're not weird. Just chill. Thanks, Cassie. What are you typing now? Mm. Mm. Oh, she erased it. If you don't mind me asking, have you had sex? Mm. I'm gonna say no. Our, okay, so has my boy had, it's high school. No, I haven't. Emily will remember that. No, I haven't. I should have said, oh, only third base though. Oh, cool. Then we're in the same boat, haha. <laughs> that makes me feel a lot better. Well, I have done a little squishy squishy. If you know what I mean. Um, thanks so much for talking with me about it. Of course, I'll always be here. I charge by the minute. Ah, should I make a little joke? I'm gonna make a little joke because like she's trusted, like she, this has been such a heavy conversation. She's trusted me with so much stuff. She showed me her messages and told me about the whole sex thing and I told her about my whole sex thing. So yes, seriously. Well, I guess I owe you, haha. <laughs> I'm sorry I stole so much of your night just by talking about random stuff. Oh, pff, are you crazy? I love it. It's been nice. Honestly, it's been nice. Like, it's nice to bond with my baby girl. Kel's bells is on. Senior, senior year checklist. Go to prom, get my license, try something new, pull an all-nighter, did that one, do something illegal, and watch a shooting star. Oh, and she likes happy feet. How would a, she's not a basic bitch at all. Yeah, it has been nice. I really like talking to you about stuff. I feel like we're different now, but in a good way. I don't know what we are. <laughs> um, that's, that's kind of like the typical line that guys say when they want the girl to say, we should date. And I don't know if I want to put, I don't know, like that's really unfair for Emily. Like she's got so much pressure on her plate right now. I feel like we're different now. I feel that way too. I feel like we're different too. Am I friend zoning myself, chat? Please let me know. Can I ask you a kind of personal question? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm into that. Why aren't you in a relationship? Well, I'm not going to say I don't know because just waiting, waiting for you, baby. Haven't made a move yet. Haven't made a move yet on you, baby. Oh, um, I can't say I haven't, haven't made a move yet. Okay, if I say haven't made a move yet, then maybe she's just gonna go like, on who? And I'm gonna be like, on you. And maybe we can, you know, squishy, squishy. Just waiting, just waiting. Uh, I feel like both of these will do. Um, I'm gonna say I haven't made a move yet because I'm feeling brave and I'm feeling bold and I feel like this is the way to go. You just seem like you're such a great catch. Okay, excuse me, aren't you gonna ask me? Aren't you gonna ask me like who I haven't made a move on or like who I like or whatever? Because I want an opportunity to say you. Okay, so she says, you just seem like such a great catch. And I can say even for you. Oh, this is the line. This is the trademarked patented guy in high school who likes the girl who's in a relationship line with the sticky outy tiny face because you need it to kind of make it seem like it's a joke but it's so not a joke you're such a good friend no i'm not friend zoning myself absolutely not could there be an us <gasps> oh okay um i'm i gotta do it i gotta do it chat i gotta do it i'm going in i mean i could you're such a no 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 Oh, I did the thing where I chose the thing and it wrote the thing that I didn't want to ding. Oh God, no. No, why does it have to be like this? No. Oh. You friend zoned yourself. I friend zoned myself. Ugh. Oh, okay, we're Emily now. Hey, what did you just delete? Asking about us. I asked about, I don't know, like, an us. I, oh, okay, 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 okay. Chat, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. I, I, I asking about, like, an us. Okay, this isn't really English. Hopefully, hopefully she doesn't get confused. Uh, I'm so nervous right now. Oh. I mean, from my perspective, RPG games are your favorite. We have the same outlook on life, and we both haven't had a serious relationship yet. Like, 
If I was single, haha, <laughs> you're just a really great person, okay? And you should just know that. No. No. What do you mean? We have everything in common. Why won't you be with me? Why are you with this creepy Jeff guy who just wants to sleep with you and you don't want to sleep with him yet? He doesn't respect you. Oh my god, my nice guy syndrome is coming out and it does not feel good. You're great too. Emily. I'm so tilted right now. <laughs> I like when you use my name, but I think we should figure out a nickname. I don't know. M. M, because that's me backwards and you should be with me? M? I like it. Yeah, sure. What do you want me to call you besides Cassie? Um, do I want to be called anything besides Cassie? I mean, sure. Yeah, I guess. You make me up a nickname. We need pet names so I can squeeze into your life. What'll it be? Uh, what a little be? It, it'll be be with me. BWM. It's not BMW, it's BWM. Be with me. Please be with me. BWM. It suits you. I like it. Oh man, I think I need to get off the computer now. Why? Why, Emily? Stay with me, please. Please. <laughs> My mom needs to look at emails or something. Oh yeah, this is back in the day when we didn't have more than one computer. Eh! Okay, I'll miss you. Oh, boo, not cool mom or need your own computer. I'm gonna say I'll miss you because I need her to know. I don't care. I, I think that I'm at a point now where she knows how I feel. And so I'm gonna keep coming at her until she draws the line and goes, stay away from me. But she kind of already did that. She kind of already did that by saying, like, I have a boyfriend, and, like, if I was single, so... Oh, should I do it anyway? I know it's not the right thing to do, but it's how I feel, and my feelings are so strong. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'll miss you. Oh, I will. I'll miss you so much. I'll miss you, too. <laughs> Thanks again for everything tonight. Nay. Nee. Uh, no worries. It was nothing. Anytime. Any Anytime. Any, I'm officially, I'm going in. She knows how I feel. Let's just, oh, let's just make it happen, okay? My, this hair keeps like coming out and going, doing this right in my face. Keeps tickling me. I'll talk to you again soon, okay? You better. I'm coming, I'm so desperate right now. I'm so desperate right now. <gasps> she gave me a heart! She gave me a heart! Guys, chat! She gave me a heart! Oh my goodness, I think that I'm actually gonna get Emily. Oh, 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 Punk Forever's back online. Hi. I'm back. That's Friday the 13th. Okay, you basic bitch. Happy Friday the 13th. Good for you. Lol. Hopefully Emily comes back after this. You got, yeah, I know, chat. She gave me the heart. You know what that means? That means we're gonna do a little bit of this and that, yeah. Oh, just ignore my pants and how high they are. That's really embarrassing. Hmm. So, what are you gonna do to celebrate? Okay, Punk Forever, last time you had a normal voice. Why are you such a... Why are you such a weirdo now? I don't know, I'm gonna do black magic. I don't care what I say to this girl, so just like, what's up? Black magic, how about you? Yo, same. I'm so happy it's fall. It's like my favorite season, you know? Like, I just like, like the leaves and how they crunch. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. If it was Emily, I'd be like, mine too! But yeah, it's all right, whatever. It's kind of cool how you can like compare the two dynamics, girl you like and girl you don't like, and you're so much like cooler and more yourself around the girl you don't like who likes you. So are you gonna dress up for Halloween? I'm too old. Unless there's like a costume party, maybe, but otherwise, no. Oh, what? I am. Jackie's having a big mm -hmm. Halloween party. I'm looking at costumes now. What do you think I should go as? Um, should I say a witch? I, I, I kind of want to say witch because she is a witch. A sexy nurse? Mmm. 
That's kind of nice. But what if Emily finds out? <laughs> I mean, Emily's got a boyfriend, so surely I'm allowed to say that Punk Forever should be a sexy nurse. Alice in Wonderland. I'm going to say sexy nurse. Just, just let that ass hang out, girl. Maybe another guy who's not me will like you. Lol, you wish you would see me as a sexy nurse. I was actually trying to decide between Alice in Wonderland and Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm sure you were. Oh, God. And a link to a bunch of very revealing Alice in Wonderland things. Be Alice. Sure. Alice. I think I like Alice. Just be Alice. I don't care. That's what I was thinking. I'll go pick it up tomorrow. Okay. Have fun. Jackie's parties are always crazy. You can probably expect more drunk texts. No, you're a mess. Get out of my life. Just try to spell better this time. I didn't even know what you were talking about last time. And it wasn't even, like, it wasn't even attractive at all. I would like this girl if she wasn't just so nasty. I think I still have some of those locked on my phone from this summer. I don't know how you understood any of them. Can you delete those, please? I'm trying to get into college. And if I ever have, like, a good opportunity growing up, I don't want you going, touch my asshole, to, like, you know, be in concrete history. You have them saved? Excuse me. You still have them saved? Can we not? Like, hello. This is the technological age. Can we not? Can we? When I was in high school, Every time I went to a party, well, not every time, but like most of the time I went to a party, I was like, guys, can we not take all of these photos, please? Can we please just have fun? Like, I, I don't like how like some people just go to parties just to take pictures and selfies, like pretending that they're having fun. And it's like, why don't we just like actually have fun and actually get as shitty and sloppy as these pictures appear to be, but aren't actually like, let's just have fun and let's just not save the texts, okay? Lol, like this one. Okay, this is her text. Oh my god, we thinks Jackie's roof thigh now and starts nerve or flood. It's so beautiful. Okay. You think Jackie's high now? Jackie's roof started to flood. Stars never looked so beautiful. Yeah, I think they're on Jackie's roof. They're looking at the stars and it never looked so beautiful. Stars never look so beautiful, question mark? Is that what you were trying to say? You got it. Damn, I'm impressed. Hey, maybe you could just come to the party. Do you drink? I don't know. Not with you. Not with you. Um... Of course I do. Sometimes, yeah. No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna stay consistent, I think. I'm gonna stay consistent, but hopefully I get an opportunity to say I'm not coming. Same here. Okay, yeah, you don't, you don't have to say that, I know. What's your favorite? I don't know, just beer? Probably just beer. Why? I'm not coming to this party. Beer is my favorite, too. Yeah, I can tell, actually, by your big pink nose. Would you want to come to the party? Uh, sure. Count me in. Or maybe? There's no no? Okay, I'm saying maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, I don't know about this girl. The only rule is you have to dress up. What would you go as? I don't know. Leave me alone. I feel like I'm gonna get in so much trouble with Emily because of this, even though Emily has a boy. Like, I should be allowed to have a little flirt with a little messy drunk girl because she has a boyfriend, right? But no, that's not the way life works. It's not fair. Emily gets to have all the fun. Don't worry. You have time to figure out what to wear. I'll add you to the event page. Oh, wait. Are we friends on Facebook? Don't think so. Can we just not? Like, can I not? Can we not? Can we just not do this, please? Then friend me when you get a chance, yo. No. 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 Ugh. Of course. Of course. Of course, Evelyn's Facebook page. Of course you're female. Well, obviously. Of course you're single. Of course you're going to a Halloween party. Of course you like Motion City soundtrack and anti-flag. Yeah. 
Halloween party, huh? You plan to attend a Halloween party? Lol, yeah, Jackie's a tool. Oh, that's rude. Yo, you put a census fail quote in your info? Seriously, you're like the coolest person I know. Okay, thanks. What can I say? I'm pretty cool. I found them all by myself. I was on a one of those music websites, you know, what's it called? Pure Vol- I was on Pure Volume. Oh yeah? I think I remember it a bit different. So, what are you up to? Oh wait, was she the one who showed me Census Fail? No, I don't think so. I hope not. I'm up to nothing, leave me alone! You're- th talking to this girl is giving me anxiety! Just listening to music. Yeah? Okay. Census Fail just came out with a new album. Oh, cool. Is it any- you must be excited. You must be just having such a good time over there. It's been on repeat all day. Yeah? Okay. I want to listen to a little Census Fail? Really cool music. Good for us. Not a fan. Can you get out of here? I'm sorry, I'm just not really a fan. What? Really? Lol, it's so good. Well, I forgive you. You're so fun to talk to. Actually, I, like, I like the song, but I don't like you. Yeah, not so bad. You're not, yeah, it's not so bad. Can you leave me alone, please? Please. Emily just gave me a heart. My heart is like into this. It's into her. Although I feel like there's a lot about you I still don't know. You're such a mystery. Oh, really? Okay. Like what? <laughs> I'm so mad that I'm talking to this girl. Just random stuff. Hey, let's play a game. I get to ask a question about whatever, and then you get to ask a question. All right, ask away. I do actually kind of want to play this game, so here we go. <laughs> Why do you not like Evelyn? She's sloppy, she tries too hard, she comes on too strong, her drunk texts are, they just turn me off. Like, I just feel like Emily, like she genuinely values my friendship with her and she's just such a nice girl and she doesn't want to drink or have sex just because everybody else is doing it. Like she knows who she is, she knows what she wants, she knows that she doesn't want a family. Like there's just so much about her that I find so interesting. Whereas Evelyn to me is just so basic. She's so basic and I can't even stand it. Like, I don't know, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit of a rant there. Okay, and let's go. If you take too long, it'll just be my turn again. So are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Hmm. I'll start with an easy one. Do you remember my favorite kind of movie? Mm-hmm. Horror. It was horror. She'll remember that? Of course she will, and she's still be in love with me. Yup, yup, I knew you'd remember. Now, it's your turn. Quick, ask me anything. Uh, favorite dessert? Favorite dessert, let me guess, like a Starbucks mocha frappe lappuccino? Let me guess, pumpkin, pumpkin bread? Brownies and ice cream. Oh my god, now I'm hungry. Let's see, have you ever snuck out of your house? A few times, I'm not gonna, <clears throat> I don't mean to toot my own horn, but yes I do. Yes I do. A few times to go hang out with some friends and stuff. Oh shit, you badass. Your turn again. Uh, have you done any drugs? I really wanna know this. <laughs> Let me know. Just weed, but I kind of like the idea of experimenting. All right, let's get serious. Do you have a crush on anyone? Oh, 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 uh, okay. okay, um, I, okay, yeah. Just gonna be honest about it, I totally do. Yes, I do. Yep. Is punk forever gonna go crazy and like shoot me in the face? Oh, scandalous. I wonder who it is. I know what I'm asking next. Oh, God, no. 
Uh, do you have feelings for anyone? Have you ever been in love? Okay, I'm gonna ask if she likes anybody. Oh boy, I'm so worried about this. Do you have feelings for anyone? And if yes, who? Unfair, that's like two questions in one. Okay. It's legal. It's one and a half at most. It's one and a half at most. Let's go. Just answer it. I want to know if she likes me. I want to know for sure. Because if she does, I need to put I need to put out that fire chat. It's got to be put right out. You're a cheater, but I'll answer both. Feelings? I don't know. Maybe. It's kind of complicated. Complicated? What do you mean by that? That's actually... You're getting kind of interesting, Evelyn. I, I must say, I'm kind of intrigued by what's going on here. I don't know. Me and this person have a history together. Or we have history together. What kind of history? Like, do you mean history or, like, history? Like, do you take history together? Or what do you mean? Like, what kind of history? Like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Wait! In chapter one, she said that we had history together. Because I liked Mr. B. Do you mean me? I don't know. A messy one. She could still mean me because of the drunk texts. Steve Myers. You know him, right? Steve! I don't even like this girl and Steve is swooping in. Ben, what the fuck? He's back? Steve is back. The fake ID guy? Steve, come on! This guy, Swanky87. He added me. I'm so you? sick of- Oh, I'm so sick oh, of this. Oh, look at this. Steve just Still in. searching. I'm still searching. I won't be I'm saved. I'm add you. What do you expect from me? Try to forget me and just move on. Yeah, she's talking to you, Evelyn. I don't have love left inside. Okay, so this guy's emo as shit. All right, fake ID guy. Yeah, that guy. Steve. I'm jealous of Steve and I don't even like Evelyn. Yeah, me and him dated for a lot of my sophomore and junior year and it got pretty serious and I definitely think I loved him. Then he was going off to college so he broke up with me last year. Well, pff, are you okay? I don't want to say like, I, I want to know if she's okay. But like, he sounds like a scumbag. <laughs> just because I don't like him. Oh yeah, it's more just confusing than anything. Like, I'm getting over him? It's just weird, lol. Getting over- are you on and off? All right, can you please- can you just block his- can we all just- how about we all do this little game where we all just block Steve? That'd be really great. No, definitely not on and off. It's just that the feelings still hang around. Yeah, I- I understand. When it worked, we were a really good couple. Oh. How serious were you? Did he love you? Or was he your first boyfriend? Ooh. Hmm. How serious were you? I don't know about that. Because then, like, the, the love question is kind of intertwined into that. Pretty serious, I guess. Typing, erasing, typing. She doesn't know what she's- Oh, erasing. Like, he was the first person I ever had sex with. Oh, is that why you can't move on? Have you had relationships since him? Like, you definitely gotta move on, girl. Like, he's gone to college. Like, he's, uh, he's off at the sex buffet that is college. I mean, I had a fling this past summer, but nothing as serious as Steve, obviously. Oh, still, is it still going on? Are you still, are you still got, you still dating this guy or what? It's so weird how I went from not interested in her whatsoever to like, well, tell me what's going on with your life and your finances. Oh no, that's definitely over. We fooled around, but like, it was fun, not serious, you know? Cassie, if you don't mind me asking, have you ever had sex? I already said no. Oh yeah, that was Emily. No, I haven't, not yet. Not yet, boy. I'm saving it for a special girl by the name of Emily. Oh, oh, I was like daydreaming about that for a second there. Oh, okay. Well, you can still understand what I mean, kind of? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. You're hung up on him. Yeah, you... That's why you probably shouldn't maybe do that kind of thing with somebody you're not sure about because you get, like, super attached. Yeah, not a lot of people know, but me and Steve had these plans for our future, so being together felt like a big deal. What kind of plans? Like, like house, college, kids kind of plans, or what? See, okay, this is another reason why I like Emily better than Evelyn, because Evelyn 
like she fell hello, head over heels and like she just like planned out this life with this like kind of scummy guy whereas Emily is very like reserved and independent and I feel like she wouldn't get herself caught in a similar situation but I do feel I do feel for Evelyn because I don't know I've I've tripped on my ass and fallen for people before too it's gonna sound really stupid don't judge me okay yeah tell me your plans girl no judgment here let's go let's hear about it so I thought we'd go to the same college together and then maybe I don't know get married start a family whatever yeah I mean that sounds normal like that sounds like what most people do I guess I I, I guess I I like Emily for not being normal, I guess. I don't know. I, I I just like I like the independence. Even though I'm not independent and I just want to be with Emily. It just feels silly now thinking about it. But I think that's why it's been so hard to get over the breakup. I know, right? You fell in love with this idea. And just because like the breakup happened doesn't mean that the idea isn't is any less alluring. That plan doesn't need Steve. I understand that. Or would you go back to him? Well, the plan doesn't need Steve. Like, come on. Your future doesn't, like, you can still have all of those things, just not with Steve. Come on. Fake ID guy? Jeez. I know. And I still want that future even without Steve. But maybe that's silly. You've got lots of time, girl. Just don't rush it. Don't settle down with the wrong guy. A lot of people out there are super unhappy because they made it, they, everything went too fast and now they're stuck. I just think people think it's stupid when I talk about it. It's your life, whatever, just live your life, girl. We're in high school, so we're so concerned about what everybody else thinks, but like, who cares? Just do what you want. Thanks, Cassie. It really made me feel a lot better. What are your plans after college? Do you want a family? Um, I don't know. It's definitely, it's not a yeah, definitely, and it's not a sure, I'm, maybe I'll say no, I don't think so. Because, like, I don't know, I kind of want to be free to do whatever for a while. Like, for a while, and then maybe a family later, if I can figure that out. If everything is perfect, then I'll have a family. Otherwise, I don't think so. Oh, cool. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people feel that way. Hey, I just remembered. It's still my turn to ask you a question. Oh, we're still playing? Okay. What? I didn't think we were still playing. Oh, here's a good one. Would you ever date someone like me? Ah, oh, chat, I feel bad. Oh, she's such, like, she's a nice girl. She's got a good heart. She's just not my type. I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, maybe. I feel like I'm leading her on now. I, oh boy. I don't know. I don't know, Evelyn. Well, all right. Your turn. Last question. Don't fuck it up. Same question. Did you, uh, same question. <laughs> oh, I should have just said no. But there wasn't really a no option. Punk rock is your favorite, but you haven't been in a serious relationship yet, and we want different things in life. So, I don't know. Maybe? You're a really good friend, and I don't want to lose that. Thanks. That's fine. I just I just want Emily so bad. Like, I, no offense, Evelyn. I just want I just want Emily so bad. Oh, wow, it's getting late, huh? I still want to shower before bed. I do that all the time. We have that in common. You do you. Go chill. Go shower. Go wipe those bum bums. Yeah, I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna go. But tonight was really fun. Yeah. It really was. It wasn't, it wasn't half bad, Evelyn. It was not half bad. Good night, Cassie. Talk to you later, Evelyn. Ah, oh, Evelyn. Punk Forever is away. I know who I was when I got up this morning, but I think I must 
<laughs> but I think I must have been changed several times since then. Alice. Okay, yeah, she's super, she's super duper. She's a, she's a little emo. And that's fine, because I'm an emo too. I'm as emo as it gets. Alright guys, that was Emily is away, chapter two. Chapter two, and now I can take a little look. I'm gonna take a little look at the chat. I'm gonna take a little look at my, oh. Take a little look at, oh, don't, don't you dare start playing. Oh no, all these tabs that I opened. Ah, no. Ah, no. Everything is opening at the same time. I'm just trying to see where my super chat's at. Ah. You got it? No. Help me. Oh, my pants are inside out. What's up, guys? Yeah, you're ashamed. I know. You should be ashamed of yourself. Thank you, everyone, so much for coming. Thank you for watching the stream. I'd like to thank my mods, everyone who came in the chat, my super chats. Oh, I, I just came wanna... in the chat. Yeah? Yeah. You came in the chat? Yeah. Stop. All right, there you go. Cordelia, thank you so much for the super chat. The game is looking good. I'm glad you like it. Emily is Away is one of my favorite games to play. Mewbot5408. Wouldn't Twinkie and Carl be your kids? Pretty much. I think so. Heroic Platypus of Justice. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Cassie. First, first time I'm able to catch one of your live streams. What a better way than Emily is away. Please stop friend zoning yourself. I'm trying. Emily sent me a heart, so maybe, maybe we'll finally fall in love. I really did slam that door shut on uh, Evelyn, but I don't, I don't like her, so I don't care. Sylvia Munoz, Cassie and Emily's ship has sailed. Thank you for the super chat. I, I hope so. I hope so. Jaden Thomas says hi to you, Terry. I said what's up in the chat. Cordelia, keep on gaming. I will, and I love you too. Bye, chat. Jojo Elizabeth, thank you for coming. Kira Beth. I'm, tr I'm looking at all you guys in the chat. Oh, you're so cute. What's up, Katrina? I'm gonna put some hearts in the chat. Oh, oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming, guys. I will see you very soon. I'm not sure if I'll stream Emily is Away again as opposed to videos. Uh, let me know in the comments of the VOD which one you like better. Thank you so much, Nicole Taylor, for the super chat just right now. You make me so happy and I'm glad you got in a place you like. Oh, I love you. I love you. All right. I love you guys so much. And I will see you later. Bye. My lips are so chapped.